Hello guys! In this video, we will be discussing about transforming general form equation of an ellipse to the standard form equation by completing the square. How to do that? Now this is an example of a general form equation of an ellipse. Now first thing to do is to regroup, meaning to say you are going to group terms that are bearing the same variable. So 5x squared and negative 40x will be grouped together. So we have here 5x squared minus 40x. And then 7y squared and negative 28y will be grouped together. So that will become 7y squared minus 28y is equal to negative 73. Now, next thing to do is we are going to factor out the common. Now, 5 and 40, the common is actually 5. So, factor that out. So, 5 times x squared. And we know that 40 can be written as 8 times 5. So, if we're going to take 5, 8 remains. Now, if you are going to distribute 5 to every terms of the function inside the parentheses. 5 times x squared is 5x squared. 5 times negative 8 is negative 40x. So basically, this one and this one are the same. We are just employing the process of factorization. Now, what is the common of 7 and 28? 7. So let that out. So we have here y squared minus 4 because 7 times negative 4 is negative 28 is equal to negative 73. Copy the right side. Now, this one, we are going to complete the square. Complete the per perfect square trinomial. How to do that? We are going to take negative 5. Negative 8, I'm sorry. Now, take negative 8. Now, we know that negative 8 is actually the numerical coefficient beside the x. So negative 8, always divide that by 2. This is true to all. What's the quotient? Negative 4. I want you to square. So this is now 16. This product is actually the value that we're going to add. So this is now 5 times x squared minus 8x plus 16. Where did 16 come from? Coming from here. We take negative 8, divide by 2, the quotient is negative 4, square 16. The same process here. So take negative 4, so you have here negative 4, always divide by 2, this is true to all. The quotient will be negative 2. You have to square that, the product will be 4. This is now the value that we're going to add on this to make it a perfect square trinomial plus 4 is equal to negative 73. If you add something on the left, also add something on the right to maintain the balance or the equality. Now, you add actually 16, but make sure to multiply 5 and 16. 5 times 16 is actually 80, so you're going to add here 80. Okay. Plus, we still have another one, 7 times 4, we have here 28. Now, this is already a perfect square trinomial, meaning to say we can actually factor this. Remember, special product. So, we have here 5 times, how to factor x squared minus 8x plus 1? All you have to do is to go back with our um, process here. Now, the number inside the parentheses is negative 4, so take that. So, you have here x minus 4 and then square. Which means that if we're going to multiply x minus 4 by itself, x minus 4 times x minus 4, I am sure that the product will be x squared minus 8x plus 16, the perfect square trinomial. Copy 7. And then, how are you going to factor this one? Again, go back with our process a while ago. What is the number inside the parentheses? Negative 2. So this will become y minus 2 squared. 
Again, FOIL method, y minus 2 times y minus 2. I am sure that the expansion will be y squared minus 4y plus 4. Simplifying, negative 73 plus 80 plus 28, this is now 35. Again, from the general form equation, our goal is to transform that into standard. So, we are going to divide both sides with 35. Also, divide on the left side to maintain the equality. Now, let's erase here. Now, you can actually give 35 to the first term and give 35 to the second term. So, we have 5 times x minus 4 squared over 35 plus. This plus comes from this operation. Then you have here 7 times y minus 2 squared over 35. And this is actually correct. You can actually give denominator of 35 to the first term and give denominator to the second term. And this is what we did. And 35 over 35 is just 1. Now take note, when you say 5 over 35, you can actually cancel 5 and 35 becomes 7. Cancel 7 and 35 and 35 becomes 5. So we have here x minus 4 squared, which is the remaining function on the numerator, over. You cancel 35, what's left? 7. Plus, what's left on the second term? That's y minus 2 over 5, which is now equal to 1. In short, this is now our standard form equation of our ellipse. This is now our answer. So from general, we made it into standard form equation by completing the square. Thank you.